this peaceful neighborhood were in for a rude awakening when they say Walmart began testing their delivery drones. We already see Amazon trucks and vans everywhere. Soon we may all be seeing their drones. The FAA has approved the company's request to operate its fleet of delivery drones. Amazon has long been, without question, the king of fast delivery. But a new battle is building in the skies between two titans, Walmart and Alphabet. Walmart and Alphabet are prepared to steal the crown from Amazon with cutting-edge technology, innovative business models, and strong determination. Get ready for an epic aerial war as Walmart and Alphabet race to become the delivery champions, beating Amazon in drone delivery. So without further ado, let's get started. Amazon has pushed the possibility of drone delivery, but its brick-and-mortar rivals Walmart and Target may be the best position to benefit the most. Drone delivery is a key part of Amazon's aim to increase its market share in e-commerce. By removing fuel and labor expenses, drone delivery might enable Amazon to reduce delivery costs to less than $1 per item and offer quick same-day or quicker delivery to more consumers. Walmart and Target are behind Amazon in online sales by a wide margin. Amazon's total online sales last year exceeded $96 billion, compared to Target's $3.1 billion. Since Amazon's retail sales climbed by around 25% last year, both retailers' overall growth has been slow as of late, with Walmart's revenue increasing just 0.8% and Target's revenue increasing by 0.9%. Also, due to their vast retail networks, Walmart and Target are better positioned than Amazon to take on drone delivery. The weather company's data reveals that 15.1% of sales are under 10% and that 49% of Walmart and Target consumers live within a 6 mile radius of a store. According to Amazon, 44% of Americans live less than 20 miles away from one of its fulfillment centers, but this distance is too far for current drone technology. Amazon is using a warehouse in California to launch drone deliveries of products weighing less than five pounds to a small number of residents. Although Amazon said that it had already made 100 deliveries, this was untrue. However, other companies' drone programs have gone off while Amazon's has stalled, with some already having made tens of thousands of commercial deliveries. Walmart has completed thousands of commercial and medical deliveries through partnerships with DroneUp and Zipline. Despite competition from Walmart and non-delivery firms, Amazon has not yet reached the stage of flying drones. In 2013, Jeff Bezos unveiled Amazon's Prime Air drones, promising half an hour delivery and the ability to carry things weighing up to 5 pounds. Even a decade later, Amazon drones are still incapable of making large-scale commercial deliveries. According to Rees Moser, president of Ondas Holdings, the US's busy and complex airspace makes using drones for package delivery challenging. David Carbon, a former executive at Boeing, was hired by Amazon in 2020 to lead Prime Air, an autonomous safety-critical system that can fly over heavily populated areas inside the national airspace. Amazon announced its first formal delivery on Christmas Eve 2022, and aimed to make 10,000 deliveries by the following year. After four months, Amazon informed CNBC that it had completed 100 commercial deliveries and that its objectives for 2023 were now different. Just days after Carbon's January statement, a huge number of primary employees were laid off as part of Amazon's largest wave of layoffs in the company's history. Amazon employees then told CNBC that the company only delivers to two residences in Lockford, both of which are less than a mile from the warehouse. According to Amazon, safety is still their primary priority, which may be why they're moving slowly. According to Amazon, its test location in Pendleton, Oregon has experienced many crashes but has never experienced a problem during a real customer delivery flight. Over time, Amazon's drone design has evolved from a vertical lifting octocopter with eight exposed rotors to one with four large enclosed rotors that could take off vertically and fly forward like an aeroplane. The most recent version, the MK27 II, was released in 2019 and is already in its second generation. The MK27 II drone weighs 80 pounds without any load, is 5.5 feet wide, and has a top speed of 50 miles per hour. Its design ensures that it will avoid colliding with other aircraft and that it won't deliver the package if a dog runs underneath it. The larger size of the drone is necessary due to the electronics needed to run these safety measures. Amazon has been carrying out test flights for years, but cannot charge for delivery until the Federal Aviation Administration recognizes it as an air carrier. 
This has led to many drone delivery businesses such as Wing, Zipline and Ondas Holdings beginning to operate in many countries. Only 5 drone operators in the US have obtained FAA Air Carrier Certification, known as Part 135. The FAA gave Amazon Part 135 approval in 2020, however several levels of Part 135 clearance exist. Prime Air is subject to various regulatory exemptions that limit their ability to fly, and the FAA's restrictions on drone operations beyond visual line of sight are intended to ensure that a person can see and steer clear of other aircraft. The BV LOS licensing procedure would be simplified under the Increasing Competitiveness for American Drones Act of 2023. To get past this restriction, drones must employ detect and avoid technologies such as Zipline's microphone and Amazon's sense and avoid technology. The goal is to automatically avoid static items like a chimney or a clothesline and moving objects like other aircraft, people and animals. According to CEO Keller Ronaldo Clifton, this will allow zipline drones to deliver to households up to 65 miles distance from the Arkansas Walmart, where they fly out. However, this means that many businesses can't fly at night, and some others send watches in cars to monitor deliveries at customers' houses. This costs money, thus it's not worth it, and makes no sense if you have to pay someone to do it. In 2021, Amazon sent a letter to the FAA requesting that the agency lift the limitations that prevent its new MK27-2 drone from flying over people, highways and buildings. The FAA, however, rejected Amazon's proposal, claiming that it lacked the necessary information to show that the MK27-2 could fly over people, highways or buildings safely. Ultimately, Amazon chose Lockford and College Station due to their demographics and topography and moved forward. When choosing between rural and urban markets for early deployment, cost effectiveness is an important factor. In densely populated areas, matching the efficiency of a driver dropping off goods within a 5 block radius in a van is challenging. However, sending something to a single individual 10 miles distant in rural areas may be far more affordable with a drone. That's why, for now, little drone delivery occurs in large cities. However, several major companies have succeeded more than Amazon in obtaining extensive certifications with fewer restrictions. The United Parcel Service and Wing were the first two companies to receive Part 135 certification in 2019. UPS had used Matinet's M2 drone to make more than 10,000 deliveries by 2022. Wing has completed 330,000 deliveries, thousands of which are in the US and many more in Australia. As the fourth company to receive Part 135 certification, Zipline can now fly over people owing to its FAA certified detect and avoid system. With its fixed wing aircraft, it has completed more than 600,000 commercial deliveries. In March, Zipline introduced a different decision that tethers a droid to the ground. An increasing number of businesses have signed up to use the new drone for delivery. DroneUp is yet another Walmart-affiliated drone delivery service. It delivers in under 30 minutes and has 34 sites operating in 6 states. In 2022, Walmart, its partner Zipline, DroneUp and Flytrex completed more than 6,000 drone deliveries in 7 different states. Flytrex became the fifth business to receive Part 135 clearance in January, thanks to its partnership with Corsi Aviation Unmanned. Batteries, in particular, are a problem for drone companies to find sources since there aren't enough manufacturers to meet demand. Swoop Aero is a drone delivery business focused in Australia and aims to start operating in the United States by the end of the year. It has delivered over 1.4 million products, largely medical, across 14 nations and in 2018 won the world's first competitive contract for medical drone delivery. Wing, Zipline and other companies may have surpassed Amazon in commercial delivery, but public acceptability is still a big problem. Concerns exist over the weather, noise and privacy. According to the FAA evaluation, Prime Air drones are not expected to be louder than 58 decibels. Wing claims its drones operate with less than 55 decibels at cruising altitude, while Zipline's upcoming P2 model is quieter. Another obstacle to consistent, reliable delivery is the weather, which affects certain drone companies more than others. According to Amazon, the MK27-2 can function in dry, clear conditions and can withstand persistent winds of up to 14 knots. As a result, Amazon has begun developing the MK30, its next model, which will be better equipped to withstand hot weather and rain, fly further and be lighter, smaller and less noisy. 
And that brings us to the end of today's video. What do you think about this intense competition? Did you expect Walmart and Alphabet to fly to new heights? Or did they catch you by surprise? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys very soon.